Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be modeling mixed numbers and improper fractions. So in other words, we're going to be visualizing or seeing what mixed numbers and improper fractions look like. And we have two examples on your screen that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here where we have five thirds. So that's an improper fraction. Our numerator or top number is greater than our denominator or bottom number. So that improper fraction has a value greater than one whole. Any improper fraction does. So let's model 5 thirds. And we're going to use the rectangles down here in order to do so. So I have two whole rectangles cut into thirds. So we need to fill in 5 thirds. So this would be 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, so 3 thirds is 3 out of 3, so that gives us one whole rectangle, 4 thirds, and 5 thirds. So that model matches our improper fraction of 5 thirds. Now let's put it into a mixed number. Now we do not need to do a separate model for the mixed number. The mixed number is equivalent to that improper fraction. So we see that we have one whole rectangle filled in. So that's our whole number of the mixed number. Then we have one third, two thirds. So we don't quite have another whole rectangle, but we have a fraction. So one and two thirds. And remember, a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. So one and two thirds. Now 5 thirds is equivalent to 1 and 2 thirds. They hold the same value. One's an improper fraction and one's a mixed number. Now you do not need to draw a model out in order to go from an improper fraction to a mixed number. I have another video that shows how to do that. I dropped that down in the description. This video, again, is about modeling mixed numbers and improper fractions. So let's move to number two where we have 11 fourths. So I have some whole circles down below cut into fourths. So we need to fill in 11 fourths. So 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. So we have 4 out of 4 which is equal to one whole. 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths, which is equivalent to two holes, 9 fourths, 10 fourths, and 11 fourths. So that model represents 11 fourths. Now we need the mixed number. So we have two whole circles filled in, so that's going to be our whole number for our mixed number. And then we have 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths as our fractional part. So 2 and 3 fourths is our mixed number. And again, that improper fraction, 11 fourths, is equivalent to 2 and 3 fourths. So our model below represents both the improper fraction and mixed number. They are equivalent. One's just an improper fraction and one's a mixed number. So there you have it. There's how you model mixed numbers and improper fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.